Okay, so there they are. I have them totally backwards. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a really fun fall makeup haul. So got some goodies in here. I think pretty much all drugstore. I think I have one thing that's not, and even that I got on sale. So yeah, just some fun, affordable fall makeup. Fun, affordable fall makeup. Yep. Um, I tried to not dive in and use the stuff couple things I did and then I am wearing some of them right now so you can kind of see them in action so I will show you some swatches and just do a little haul fun fall makeup haul so let's get to it okay so no real rhyme or reason here I was walking around Walmart kind of hunting around to see if there was anything I'd either overlooked or just hadn't seen before that looked very fall so first off I found this this is the NYX ultimate edit petite palette and this is in warm neutrals. This looked so fall to me. So I do have this on my eyes with one other shadow that I will mention to you in a second. So I have this in my crease and this in my crease and outer corner and then a little bit of this on the outer part of my lid. Overall, I like this palette. It is that silky kind of formula. The main one that I, I wouldn't say I struggled with it, but I had to blend a little bit more than usual was this one, this kind of mid-tone shade right there. So that was really the only one I found somewhat challenging. If you know what I'm talking about, that kind of silky formula that you just kind of have to keep building a little bit. Um, not necessarily that it's not pigmented. It, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. So not my favorite formula to work with, but it is workable and these colors are really pretty. I mean, very fall especially those right there. Love that. So you could just do a very um, rich, matte, smoky eye, and that would be beautiful. Really, really pretty. This one was really pretty on my outer corner, outer part of my lid. It really is a pretty palette. It's just that slightly silkier kind of a formula. I'm gonna have to pick up the pace or we're gonna be here all day. So I came across this blush and I don't remember seeing this before. This is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush, and it says for long-lasting wear, and this is the shade Always Spicy. Always Spicy. I've ha I have another one of these, and I really like the formula of this blush. Surprisingly, I am wearing this blush. I have it swatched right here for you. So, I mean, it looks like it's gonna be too dark for my skin tone, and it is a rich color, but I just went light-handed with it, and I really, really like it. Such a pretty color. Okay, so here it is swatched. I would say it's a warm, um, I don't know, like a warm brown. Really beautiful. Always spicy. That's a great name for it. It's a spicy brown sort of a color. Great formula to it. Very blendable. I do find that these wear well. The other color that I have in this blush formula, it wears really well. So I really like the formula. And I just think that color is so pretty and very, very fall. Okay, so I, where are the other two? I was gonna show you. These I think I ordered on Amazon. Yeah, these are the two that I found in Walmart. So these are a couple of the newer shades of the Maybelline lipsticks. So I purchased some of the kind of more spring and summer ones when they first released um, and kind of like lighter neutrals but they have some darker colors that I hadn't purchased yet. So I got a couple of them and then I ordered two more online. So this first one is Plum Rule, Plum Rule, and it is a really pretty plummy color. I will say this is a creamier formula, so it's gonna move a little bit more. In a darker color, I do usually prefer a more matte kind of a formula just because it doesn't move as much and it doesn't bleed as much on the lips, but I really like this color. so. I'll probably just blot it down with, you know, a paper towel or something. Um, this other color is Brick Beat. Brick Beat. This one's so pretty. It is, I would say, um, a bricky red kind of color. Pretty close to what I'm wearing on my lips right now. We'll get to this in a second. But this is the more kind of creamy formula version of it. But really pretty color. That one I wouldn't be quite as concerned about, but I might still blot it down. I just prefer matte lipsticks, but 
I really like the formula of all the Maybelline lipsticks. So, yep, I wanted to pick up a couple of the fall kind of colors, not to mention that they're like five fifty, five bucks, something like that. The two other shades that I ordered off of Amazon, Amazon, they're like five dollars, sometimes four fifty. So it kind of depends on the color. So super, super affordable. Um, Crimson Race and Double Shot. So Crimson Race looks like kind of more of a deep, oh, it looks less red. Yeah, it looks more like a deep red here and it is a red, but it's more of like a raspberry. Um, it's got a lot more purple in it, which makes sense. I think crimson kind of, I don't know. And then <laughs> I'm just babbling. The other one is double shot and this one's such a pretty brown. Definitely will blot this one down because I definitely prefer a more matte brown. So there's Crimson Race and there is Double Shot. Ooh, both so pretty, both so fall. Yes. So yeah, love the colors, love the formula, super affordable. This collection from ColourPop just looked so fall to me. So I got one of the Super Shock Shadows and then also the palette. So this is the Lil Ray of Sunshine palette. And I feel like this is really, really unique because you can do a beautiful, bright or mustardy sort of a yellow eye look. And I love these kind of eye looks with a brown lip. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. Or you can kind of bring in some of these colors or they have these kind of cementy kind of colors that are just a little bit grungy and different and interesting. Let me try to swatch these super quick for you. So you can at least see one of these kind of cementy colors. Yeah, like it still has a little bit of a yellow undertone, but it's, it's still in that cement family, but more of a warm version of it versus more of a gray. Great formula, really a fun palette. And then the Super Shock Shadow, I got the more kind of bright gold one, and that's what I have on my lids. I will say, I still think this is pretty. This is, what is this called? In Harmony, In Harmony. I still think this is pretty, but my favorite, well, I mean, it's really pretty. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's really pretty. It's a very metallic gold. My favorite Super Shock shadows have a lot of shimmer in them. That's totally personal preference. Some people would definitely prefer just more metallic, not shimmery but I just love their shimmery Super Shock Shadow. So I would love this even more if it had a lot more shimmer in it, but it's still a pretty, pretty metallic-y shadow. It looks more metallic-y in a swatch and like when you initially swatch it versus on the eyes. So I like the palette. That's my favorite thing that I got. I do still think that's pretty, but not as pretty as I was expecting. This palette was part of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty and it just looked very fall to me. This is the Zueva uh, Caramel Melange, Caramel Melange palette. So fun. Haven't even swatched this. Let's look at some of these. I'm going for the super fall colors first. Let's go with those right there to swatch. Ooh, those seem very nice. I don't know if I have ever owned a, wow, dang, that's nice. A Zueva palette, I don't know if I've ever owned one. Does seem slightly silky, but not as silky as like the NYX palette. Yeah, wow, that's really, really pretty. <gasps> I like that a lot. Ooh, I'm excited to play with this. Beautiful, those colors are pretty similar, so not a lot of like variation there but still very pretty. That's really beautiful. Anything else? Here's this kind of bronzy color. Here's the purpley color. So that's more of, I have like, I have shadow all over my fingers. Um, this one's more of a, a dark purple with shimmer in it. I would like it more if it were not necessarily that sort of a formula. And then here's the other kind of metallic-y, bronzy, coppery sort of shade. Seems pretty. I ordered myself a new Maybelline Clay Crush because I think the one that I have is fairly old. I don't think I've purchased another one since they initially came out, so it's probably pretty old. So I ordered a new one because this is one of my very favorite neutral shades to wear in the fall. Such a beautiful nude. 
and it really helps you know I mean today I went full-on dark lip dark eye but this is great to pair with a really intense eye look just kind of helps to balance it but it does still have some color to it love the matte formula it's very low maintenance really comfortable and just so so pretty so love clay crush um, another blush Maybelline fit me blush in wine wine I thought this looked very fall as well I will have to go probably fairly light-handed with this but whoo this is so pretty it's like a a warm rosy color it's got some glow to it I would say it's more of a satin finish slightly above satin a little bit more of a glow than a true satin but very very pretty I like the glow to it I like that warm rosy tone beautiful and then lastly I ordered three more shades of the Maybelline what are these called Superstay ink crayons so this one I believe was already part of the line but then this is part of the spice edition spice collection I think it's spice edition um, so very fall sort of color so first off this one this is settle for more settle for more and this is an intense purpley wine shade so pretty and then this one neutral color this is talk the talk talk the talk this is a really pretty I would say kind of cool tone neutral that's beautiful and then the one that I'm wearing right now is what is this one rise to the top favorite definitely favorite this is so gorgeous oh my goodness so fall I put these like this so I can read them off to you again okay so there they are I have them totally backwards <laughs> starting with this one over here that one is settle for more in the middle is talk the talk and then rise to the top so pretty I love the formula on these they really really grew on me I feel like they're very low maintenance um, they're just I love that the packaging matches the color that they are um, they're just a good matte formula that wears very well I wouldn't say they're they're not super hydrating so I wouldn't say that about them but they're just good so and affordable they're great favorite color is definitely that one so fall okay guys and those are all the fun fall goodies that I have picked up recently so hope that you really enjoyed this video please hit a thumbs up if you did let me know down below if you've been grabbing any new fall things let me know that down below or what are some of your favorite things in your collection that you love breaking back out for fall every year I would love to hear that too I will definitely have more fall videos on my channel like fall get ready with me's I plan on doing fall favorites like fall lip colors eyeshadows blushes stuff like that so definitely more fall videos to come on my channel so if you are not subscribed definitely subscribe to my channel I would love to have you here ask me any questions that you have I'm happy to answer those and I'll see y'all in my next video bye